welcome to the next Juno New Origins video. The contract for this video is named Raining Rockets. It's the first contract from our new contractor Evelyn Shotwell, the director of the Drew Space Center. Basically get a vehicle in suborbital trajectory, meaning that at some point it has to have an apoapsis of more than 75 kilometers. Then safely land on a drone ship that is somewhere in the ocean east of the Drew Space Center. It will unlock the Drew Space Center launch pad for us. I'm also planning to do this contract 100% manual, so no Visi code or anything. After a lot of iterations and a lot of failures as well, I think I have come up with a vehicle that can manage to achieve this. Essentially, there is a nose cone at the top for aerodynamics. Under it, there is a command module with the gyro cranked up to maximum. Below, we have a liquid fuel tank and an engine. Now, attached to the sides of it, we have two parachutes. Those will ensure a slow descent toward the drone ship. Last but not least, we have four landing legs to properly and safely land on the drone ship. All of that simply sits on two pretty standard uh, stages whose sole purpose are to get us from the Ali pad to our suborbital trajectory and to the drone ship over the ocean. So let's give it a try. Let's set up some things first. First, we want to start in daylight, of course. Landing on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean during nighttime is the worst. Next, let's find the drone ship on the map and set it as a target. Last, Let's set our heading directly to point towards the drone ship. We start a standard gravity turn. Once we reached our required apoapsis, we simply pitch to zero degrees and burn towards the drone ship. Let's see on the map where our trajectory points to. We want to overshoot the drone ship by quite a bit so that when we break, we end up almost directly over it. Failure number one. We came in too short. Let's go back to our quick save and fix that. Let's simply start our break burn earlier this time. We are still a bit short, but this time we have enough delta V left to fix that. Let's pitch 45 degrees and point towards the drone ship. Failure number two. We are short by only a handful of meters, but we ran out of delta V, unfortunately. Let's fix that by going back to our quick save, and this time we start our correction burn earlier. That should save us some delta V. So this time we have a nice approach and also have some delta V left for corrections during our descent. So now that we are almost right over the drone ship, let's properly open our parachutes. Now we simply descend and from time to time we can switch to a quarter slow motion and burn sideways to fine tune our trajectory.
and touchdown! We made it! And I'd say we really nailed it. We are almost perfectly in the center of the white circle. And all that with pure manual controls, no whizzy code. Let's enjoy the view for a bit. Contract fulfilled and this is also the first that time that we are able to recover our vehicle so we get some of our money back. I'm really curious about which contracts Evelyn Shotwell will give us in the future and thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!